Assalamu alaikum. Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? It is your girl Achola and today on Achola's Closet, as you can see, we are doing an all white lookbook for you today that I am super excited about. Now, if you are new here, welcome to my returning subscribers. Thank you all so much for coming back and hanging out with me. And um, if you haven't hit on that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit on that subscribe button. Also hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. Now, if you would like to see more of me, find me on Instagram at Acholas Closet. Back to our today's video. Now, personally, I understand and I know the struggle of, you know, maintaining the whites. I know that there is no way in hell you're going to be able to wear white for a whole day and come home and still clean. That's just, it's not even realistic, honestly. And um, for me personally, my whites are a one-time wear only and that's why I don't wear whites all the time because it gets really expensive, you know? Um, like the trousers and some of the skirts are easy to take care of like the denims and whatnot absolutely you can wear them out come home throw them in the washer dryer things like that however blazers I can never do that with my blazers the blazers are one time where only it has to go to dry cleaner same thing with you know just some of my favorite things like this Jacquemus shirt right here of course it has to go to dry cleaner to get clean and I have many things like that including some skirts and um, so there is no way I am going to live in white so when I do wear white I am going to make sure it is on a day that I just you know want to pop and it will be another while before we put on a full white look I still love white as you can see we've got plenty of whites here that we are going to be pairing together so first look here consists of the Jacquemus blouse right here I just love the little off the shoulder detail it's got the halter top situation happening to uh, keep the neckline in place like it literally sits very well and I am normally a size extra small, uh, 32, 34, and I believe this one was a 34 when I bought it, and it just fits beautifully, to be quite honest with you. I love every little bit of this shirt. It, um, it's got buttons, actually two buttons, that holds the shirt together, the two buttons and the halter top. I holds it all together and gives it this beautiful wrap detail in the front and it is a crop top as well now I I'm at an age where I feel like I'm, a, I'm getting a little too old for crop tops but this one here is just perfect because it sits just right above my belly button and of course with the rub detail and how loose it is you don't really see it that much and um, I pair that with this straight leg trousers from Simon's now this pants of course it's one of my absolute favorite pants I got it from the contemporary department so comfortable the material just feels amazing on and the shape uh, Honestly, I've had this pants for almost three years now and I'm just happy with the quality of it and how it's maintained its shape as well. So, ready? Okay, so this dress here, I honestly just love this. It is a top shop collaboration with Kate Moss from back in 2014 I mean right now I can tell you it's hard to breathe I feel like I can still wear this dress but I might not have to eat 
anything when I'm out because that's how tight it has become in the last six years. Um, but no, I think it still looks great. I love the A-line. I also love the zipper here. And um, of course, this one can go up as well. So if I feel like I need a higher slit, I can just pull the zipper up. Yeah, right there. But it is just such a cute summer number that I really love. I love the neckline as well. And the material itself, it's like white cotton with those little um, dots on it which is actually super cute. And um, I just love this dress. Another way I love to wear my weights is by pairing a pencil skirt with a white blouse like this. Now this blouse is from Simon's. I picked it up a couple of years ago now. And um, I pair that with my knee length pencil skirt from La Chateau. Now this is very old as well. And um, I just love the look together. Now this for me is my typical workwear kind of outfit or sometimes church. So this is for like my Sundays and you know work days when I used to do sales. I will I love this <laughs> Like this right here I just love the mixture of the blouse and the skirt because for me you probably know by now come summertime I'm all about dresses and skirts and blouses. I don't wear a lot of pants summertime because I just I just I can't <laughs> summer for me is my favorite season because I get to wear my dresses and my skirts and things like that but this look here I just love I think it's very chic very classy very elegant and of course I still get you know a defined waist having this wrap on the blouse and it just looks beautiful and I think those two actually pair so well like looking at it from here in the screen it just looks like one dress which is really good you know this look here I honestly just love this dress I know it doesn't scream white but the lace is white and then the lining is just blush pink. I love the combination. I think it looks very chic, very elegant. And um, I know, right? It's just so beautiful. Now for me, if I am to take this to work, I will have to put a blazer on top, of course. I'm just gonna pair that with my white long thrifted blazer. Now the dress is from Susie Shear. It is a little old as well. The blazer, I thrifted it last year at uh, Value Village and it's just super beautiful. I never really had I've never had a long blazer and <laughs> and so when I saw this one I just knew I had to buy it because I needed a long blazer in my closet. I have a couple of long vests but it's not the same as a blazer, right? And um, the fact that it's white, I love it even more. Now this of course just looks amazing together. I love the lace detail of the dress and I love that it is the same length as the dress as well like the dress is the same length as the blazer because that's the thing right if you are going to do a long blazer um, 
it will be nice to kind of have it almost the same length as the dress or the same length as the skirt same thing with your let's say coats if you want to layer a coat over a dress or a coat on top of a skirt you want to try and make sure that it is almost the same length or the dress can be a little bit shorter which is even better if the dress is just a little bit shorter than the length of the coat or the long blazer it's just amazing now if you are a petite woman you will definitely need to take one of those blazers and have it tailored you want your long jacket as a petite woman to just hit you right above the knee anything longer is just going to make you look super short so this one for me right now is just perfection because it is right at the knee and now if i am to switch my flats here for heels or just jump up a little bit so it'll be right at my knee or just right above the knee which is perfect and um, I know you probably think oh well this sometimes just make me look a little bit older honestly it is not true you can make it work you can wear a long coat like this with a mini skirt and a crop top and then just add the jacket you know to complete the look um, Again, you can do the same thing with the dress and everything. So it's up to you and how you style it. I mean, of course, <laughs> if you style it wrong, then it looks like a grandma's look. But a lot of the times, you can absolutely make it age appropriate. Next up, I have got on my MM6 mesh dress <laughs> and under that I just have a long cami dress that I bought from La Chateau years ago. Now this one right here, I've never actually worn it by itself like this. So this is quite refreshing. What I like to do a lot of the times, I wear like a nice tunic um striped shirt over this and then belt it however on the runway or for the lookbook i think of that season it was paired with a longer sweatshirt dress that had slits to like all the way here and um, i honestly just love this this was one of my first pieces remember i was telling you in my luxury haul the Jacquemus shoes was the first item that started it for me um, that started like my obsession with luxury designer brands and um, during that same season I got this one right here for 49 I know $49.95 and then I also bought a white project green dress that I'll just post a picture right here I bought that one as well for $49.95 and I cannot be happier to be quite honest with you I just I love this piece right here I think it's unique I think it's interesting very architectural now when I bought this one, they didn't have it in my size anymore, so I had to go a size up, but I mean, you can't tell, right? It just looks beautiful on, and I love it. this oversized men's shirt I picked this one up from Simon's about two years ago now and um, you know I mean it is a shirt but for this video I thought why don't I try it on as a dress now I kept on the uh, the long cami underneath 
and then just throw that on and switch the shoes into my white boots and I think it actually makes such a cool look you know it's still very covered but yet very sexy and I like the length of it and I also love how high those boots come up to um, these boots are from MDX I bought it last year but I just love the mixture of the two together. So next up, I've got on this beautiful, absolute summer favorite look for me. Reasons being, you've got a little bit of uh, sheer details happening with the lace top, even though it is crop. Now, it is not a super tight crop top. I love that it is a little bit looser on the body, and it just sits right, like right at my belly button, so I can you know, wear it with a high waist pants, pull the pants just a little bit lower like that. So you still got a little peekaboo situation happening and it's not super tight and cropped. Um, those pants are, pants is from Simon's. I got it from the Econ department. The top is Rachel, Rachel Roy. Now this one is about seven years old now so she is very old but i still love her so i wear her every summer at least once or twice most of the time i'll pair it under a blazer things like that but i think the two actually make such a cool look that i really love And I just love how wide those look super cool. Well, you already know I have to throw in a shorts suit because why not? It is a trend this spring summer. Now, this suit here is from Simons, again from the Contemporary department. I honestly just love the suit. I love the shorts. And the fact that it's not a tight fitted short is even better. I'm like one of those girls. I've never been a fan of, you know, like tight, tight shorts. It's just not my thing. Even when I would used to do like the short shorts, I like them just a little bit loose and a little bit longer. You know, those shorts that are like, <laughs> no, I can't. Let's not even get into the thong shorts. Like the thong denim shorts, I could not, or the super short shorts where your butt cheeks are hanging out. I just don't think they are elegant and nobody needs to actually go out in that. But if you love them, do you? They are just not for me. So personally, I like this kind of shorts because again, I can just wear it with a t-shirt like I have on right now with sneakers and I'm ready to go for a walk or run my errands. And then I can also add my blazer on like this with a pair of, you know, nice heels and I am ready for a night out. I don't need to have casual shorts and going out shorts. I just want one item that I can wear multiple ways or style them multiple ways, you know, and take it to different places. So for example, I can take this easily to a meeting at work, as if of course my work allows me to wear short shorts or um, yeah, shorts to work, you know, with a blazer like this. And, um, but I think it's just amazing. I love the whole outfit. All right. 
right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit on the bell, turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I drop a video. And with that, you have a great day. Stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.